The rambling wreck of Georgia Tech is ready to roll for the 117th meeting all time in a rivalry known as clean, old-fashioned hate. It's been seven years since Yellow Jacket fans cheered their team to victory over their in-state rivals, the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirby Smart's team, a chance to make history tonight as they go for an SEC record 29th straight win. A quarterback in the country to pass for at least 250 in every game. Dejon Edwards. The ball comes out, and right now, no whistle. Kenan Johnson has it for Georgia Tech. One thing the Jackets can do on defense is take the ball away. Very optimistic group, as you can see, Edwards trying to drive forward. Eford, Kyle Eford, the player of the game last week for the Jackets, gets her hand on it. Looks as if that ball is dislodged. And they're throwing a wide open receiver. Brett Scyther, the former Georgia Bulldog, still fighting for every inch against his former team. And they're going to rule them stopped at the nine yard line. But a couple of years ago, that's in the last 20 seasons. They fake the reverse. Haynes carrying the touchdown. Georgia coach has said we can't let Haynes King beat us with his legs. Rushing touchdown of the season for King. And Malik Rutherford on the jet sweep gets the fake. And then Scaglione, the right guard, he pulls around on the quarterback power. King cuts back for another big play. And the quarterback run game in the red zone is one of the things that Kirby Smart and Glenn Schumann, the defensive coordinator, are most concerned about. And the open field speed of Haynes King on display there for the first score of the game. Kendall Milton through this leaky Georgia Tech run defense, which gives up 222 yards per game on the ground. Only Louisiana Tech. Midway through the opening quarter, Carson Beck, three out of four passing for 24 yards. Here comes a Jackets blitz, well picked up by Edwards. A man is open, it's Lovett with the touchdown. Excellent protection by Edwards. Eford's coming at 100 miles an hour, completely stoned, which allows Carson Beck a clean pocket to throw the slot fade to Lovett, a route that he made so many plays on at Missouri, and they just haven't had the opportunities to hit those. Very comparable based on the experience he had at Georgia. On second and ten, King flushed, sets, Singleton, a nice catch, and a first down for Georgia Tech. And great movement in the pocket by Haynes King. Munden unblocked, he's rushing, Haynes King escapes to his left but keeps his eyes downfield. 98% of the team voted him as a team captain. It's pretty remarkable in the first year. Again, they fake the jet sweep action. He shows that talent. He's 6'3", 204, and he can move. He got a first down. Toss to Dante Smith, and he's dragged down short of the first down by Smile Munden, the inside linebacker. And you get the crowd into it. Even a lot of early momentum here. It's not likely to be successful against the two-time defending national champs. It's working so far, though. Beck, there's a busted coverage on third down and 11. Dejan Edwards, a long run across midfield. They're actually going to spot him right out at the 50-yard line. Country this year on third down, 56.9% coming in. And two for two tonight, and now through a big hole, Kendall Milton. To the 31-yard line of the Jackets. Bulldogs trying to take their first lead of the night. Kendall Milton, touchdown. The right side of the offensive line just completely buries the Georgia Tech defensive line. If you look at just how much movement they're getting, 
Georgia Tech lined up quickly and stuffed was Jamal Haynes by Warren Brinson again in the middle of that defensive line. Yeah, King's been their best bet keeping the ball. It's a play fake. Looked like he wanted to launch a long pass on fourth and one instead of Singleton on the comeback at the 41 and they convert. So we have seen several already. Dante Smith trying to turn the corner. He keeps the legs driving and got up to the 48 yard line. You mentioned how much Brent Key talked about toughness in our meeting. Here's some trickery and it's King who winds up keeping it. Nifty play drawn by Buster Faulkner. Haynes and Smith in the backfield together. And trouble. It looked like King was trying to pull it back and keep it. He got tangled up with Jamal Haynes, who's 12 out of 13 this season as a freshman. And that's a knuckle ball that goes through. West Warwick, Rhode Island out of Bishop Hendrickson High School. He's 6'7", 320. A blitz. They lofted it over the head of the blitzer. And Edwards out of bounds. Kyle Eford there again. He's really been much more sore this past week than he had been after those previous couple of games. Here's Edwards running for the first down on third and nine. Bauer stand in Oscar Delp. Oscar Delp's really a guy that is not a great blocker at this stage of his career. A blitz from deep doesn't impact Beck at all. And there is Delp. More of a receiver than he is a blocker. That's his 20th catch of the year. Edwards remains the running back on the right hip of Beck. And Edwards lunges for the goal line. Touchdown! Just a great run there by Edwards. It looked initially like he was going to be stopped by Clayton Powell Lee at the progressive pylon cam shows that they've had the last couple years hasn't dropped off at all. Play fake by King. He can't take a sack. He does. They'll have to use the timeout. Miller dropped him back at the 32. Stark. So I'd look at something like this and see if you can't get out of bounds potentially. And they throw it to the end zone. Caught by Singleton out of bounds. David Shanahan, the putter, is the holder. Henry Freer, the snapper, from 49, no good. Snap and hold looked fine. He just pulled it wide left. Quiet night for Beck. They've not asked him to throw it much. Eight out of 13, Milton again. And why would you throw it when he can get you nine and a half per carry? And Johnson made the tackle. Well, and the defensive coordinator, Kevin Schur, is clearly recognizing that they got to get more aggressive because they've been gashed over and over again. That time he calls internal blitz. Semifinals for the Broyles Award to the top assistant coach in the country. Well deserved. Dejan Edwards. Bobo's already had a good weekend. His son, Jake. Carson Beck is the holder. You don't see that very often, the starting quarterback as the holder around college football. The alumni and getting more popular with the success that they're having in his first full year. Here's Dylan Bell with a lot of blockers and not many white shirts. Gets away from an attempted tackle around the head and gets down to the 26 yard line. Georgia Tech's really been selling out up the middle. So this time Mike Bobo tries to go with a little fake up the middle, handed on the end around, and Dylan Bell, a guy that's played running back and wide receiver. With the lead. Now they run quickly over the ball, trying to catch the Jackets off guard, and perhaps they did. As Milton, with very little resistance, as he scores a touchdown. Let's see the muddle huddle messed with Georgia Tech's alignment. At the last minute, it looked like Moala would come to the outside and kind of play the defensive end spot, working against Ernest Green. and. You have a middle linebacker working against the left tackle in full run support. That's bad ball. Jackets have had only two field goals since. 
have not scored since the second quarter. Here's Singleton. Eric Singleton. Malachi Starks trying to run him down. Out of bounds, just shy of the 10 yard line. Just a great job on the outside, too, by Dylan Leonard and Luke Benson. The two tight ends, they go out. And it gave to two. Here comes some late pressure. King lost the ball. Marvin Jones Jr. got there. It's one a 40 yard attempt. And it's good. 11 minutes to go. Edwards, nice cut back to his left. First down. So they're back to second down and 20. Blitz off the corner. Back pressure. Takes off running. Carson Beck. Looking like his idol when he grew up in Jacksonville. Tim T committed to the University of Florida baseball program. Given all kinds of time into the end zone. And it is intercepted. KJ Wallace came away with it. Stopped them. And now the turnover. First interception thrown by Beck tonight. The second Georgia KJ Wallace the interception his first of the season second year here as a transfer from Notre Dame. Malik Rutherford bounces off a tackle and gets enough extra yardage for a first down. Now they want a flag and how lucky are we it was near the goal line. Haynes King another touchdown. Just a great job. They fake a little speed option pitch to the outside. They have counteraction inside Fusel and Scyther get great blocks on the edge, and King walks into the end zone for the second time. Oh, for their last three on third down. Edwards chugging for the first down. They had a chance to stop him near the line of scrimmage and couldn't tackle him. That's where they needed to stop. It looked like they might get it. Kyle Eifert. He ran through unblocked chance to tackle Edwards in the backfield. Edwards slides inside and surges forward for the conversion. Just a bad missed tackle there from Eford who's been excellent the last couple weeks. Last night was sensational but man it's hard to overlook what Jaden Daniels has done even though he's on the three loss team. Winner of that one would have a great shot to be in the college football playoff. Here's Kendall Melton. What a night for Milton dragging jackets with him. He contributing on both sides of the ball. It'd be tough to envision them dropping off anytime soon. So that's it. Valiant effort by the Yellow Jackets comes up short. And Georgia has won 29 straight games. Give something. Give something.